Hello friends here we have start learning complete registration and login system in Code Igniter framework. In this series we will first make registration system in Code Igniter with email verification by send email to register email, and register user should his email verification by click on verification link send to his email address. Here we will also discuss how to store password in hash format while registration into system using code igniter and crypt library. After email successfully verified then only user can log in into system otherwise he cannot log in into system, then after we will learn login system in code igniter. In this system we will see how to verify hash formatted password in Code Igniter using Encrypt library. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this is our testing database, and under this we have one Code Igniter register table. In this table we have five table column like ID, name, email, password, verification key and is email verified table column. When user has register into system then data will be store under this table, and password will be store under hash format, and at the time of login system will verify user details from this table also. This is our code igniter working folder, first we have go to application folder, and under this we have go to config folder, and open autoload.php file. Under this first we have to define some autoload library, so during code execution we do want to load library again and again. For this in dollar auto load libraries variable we have defined database and session library, so when first time code igniter application run it will load it, so we do not want load this library again. Same way we want to auto load some helper also, so in dollar auto load helper variable we have define url and form helper so in code we do want to again load this helper after this we want to define base url of the system so we have open config.php file and here in dollar config base url variable we have define base url of this application here we have use encryption class and session library so we want to define encryption key for that. So here in dollar config encryption key variable we have define encryption key. Now we want to make database connection. So we have go to database.php and in this we have set host name to localhost username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection, now we are ready for make registration form, for this we have to go register.php controller file, which we have already make. Under this controller class first we have write public function construct method, this magic method will execute this code when new object of this class has been created. Under this we have write parent class construct method, here we have extend parent class construct method. Below this we have write dollar this with load object with library method, and under this we have write form validation, this code will load form validation when object of this class has been made, 
and this library we do not want load again in class. After this we have write dollar this with load object with library method, and under this method we have write encrypt library, it will load encrypt library when object of this class has been created. Now we want to load register model, so here we have write dollar this with load object with model method, and under this we have write register model, this method will load register model, when object of this class has been created. Below this we have write index function, this the root function of this class, so when browser we have write base url slash register then this function will be called. Under this function we have write dollar this with load object with view method, under this method we have write register view file, it will html output of this register view file in browser. Now we have go to register.php view file, and here we have already imported bootstrap library style sheet. Here first we want to make register form, so here we have write form tag with method is equal to post, action is equal to base url function with register controller slash validation method. So when user submit form, then form data has been submitted to validation method of register controller. Under this form we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to user name, under this text box user can enter his or her name. Here we have also write value is equal to set value function, and under this we have write text box name user name, this function will remember this field data, if some validation error has occur, and page redirect to this page again, then this field value will not be lost. Now we want to display validation error for this field, here we have write echo statement with form error function with text box name user name, it will return validation error for user name field. For enter email address details, here we have write input type is equal to user email, under this field user can fill his or her email address details. Same way for remember value for this field, here we have write value is equal to set value function, and under this function we have write this field name user email. Now we want to display validation error for this field, here we have write echo statement with form error function with text box name user email, it will return validation error for user email field. Lastly for enter password details, here we have write input type is equal to password, name is equal to user password, in this field user can enter his or her password details. For remember value for this field, here we have write value is equal to set value function, and under this function we have write this field name user password. Now we want to display validation error for this field also, here we have write echo statement with form error function with text box name user password, it will return validation error for user password field. For submit register form details, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and value is equal to register, by click on this button, this form data will be submitted for validation method of register controller.
In next part we will see how to validate register form data, how a register data has been processed and user can register into system. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.